Hello, in this video we are going to try Canary deployments with Argo CD and we'll be using the Apache image for this purpose. Let's get started. Let's go to GitHub and create a new repo first. I'm going to create a new repo with the name Canary Example. And I'll make this public. Scroll down and create the repository. Alright, the repo is now created. We'll have to just copy the SSH link. Click on SSH, copy the link go back to the terminal and clone this. Make sure you have already set up the SSH keys for this purpose. You have already set up SSH key based authentication from your system to GitHub. So I've already done that. Let me just go ahead and paste what I copied. So this is the SSH URL for our GitHub repo. Enter. And the repo is going to be different for you because your organization will be different. Now let's go into the canary example directory. This is an empty directory. I'm going to create a directory here by the name rollout and inside rollout I'm going to create two files the first one is going to be ro.yaml and the second one is going to be service svc.yaml so ro.yaml is the abbreviation for the rollout object which is offered by Argo CD and svc is the short form for service object which is a Kubernetes native object alright now let's get into the ro.yaml file and now let's start writing the manifest. So first we'll begin with the API version. So in order to get the API version, let's just control X, Y. Let's get the API version of rollouts by using the kubectl API resources command and grep for rollout. So just copy this and this is going to be the API version for rollout. Let's get into the file. And now paste the API version here. The kind is going to be rollout with a big R and after that we can use the metadata the name is going to be Apache RO and then comes the spec section under the spec section we have template we could enter the metadata and under metadata we can use the labels so for the labels I'm going to use app colon Apache and after that we have the template spec under that we will be specifying the container section we have one container the name of which is going to be Apache and the image is going to be httpd colon 2.4.55 that's it for the template we can now get into the selector section we'll have to call the same labels in the selector section so selector match labels and under that you're going to say the same label app colon apache finally we can put the replicas i'm going to say 10 so far this looks very much similar to the kubernetes native deployment manifest finally we'd be calling the strategy section so under that we're going to say canary because we are going to try canary here and under canary we'll have the steps array the first element of the array is going to be set weight. We can use the set weight here, which means the percentage of the overall replicas that we need to set for the canary. So if I say set weight colon 10, this means that 10% of 10 replicas is equal to 1, which means 1 pod will go into canary and 9 pods will remain with the old release. And second, I can use something called as pause. So this is going to keep the deployment in paused state. The pause parameter can have a specific duration or we can also set it indefinite by specifying an empty dictionary with two curly braces which means that we'll have to go ahead and manually promote the deployment until then it's going to be in the paused state. Alright, we are done with the rollout manifest, Control X, Y. Now let's get into the service manifest. So API version is going to be V1. Kind is going to be service metadata we can have the name as apache hyphen svc and the namespace as apache now under the spec section we need to put the same selector so selector app apache now finally the port section which ports we want to expose so there's only going to be one port we can give it a name like http because this is an http web server and after that comes the port which is the service port we can use 8080 for that purpose and then the target port 
which is the continuous actual port which is 80 in the case of Apache so that's it control X Y I have to just add the namespace in the rollout manifest as well let me just get into that quickly and add the namespace here so namespace colon Apache control X Y so let me see if I already have this namespace in my system Apache NS is there alright so I don't have anything like Apache right so that's fine what I'll do is better I will delete the existing namespace that is Apache hyphen NS by saying kubectl delete NS Apache hyphen NS I will now get into both of the manifests and slightly change the namespace name with hyphen NS so rollout slash auto dot yaml I'm going to make the namespace as Apache hyphen NS and rollout slash svc dot yaml I'll also make this namespace Apache hyphen NS now let's try and see if the manifest that we have added is correct or not by using kubectl so kubectl apply hyphen F rollout enter so let me just create this namespace so kubectl create NS Apache hyphen NS let's try the command again there was a typo in the rollout manifest so let's get into the rollout manifest so there is a typo in the namespace field let me just correct it namespace colon Apache hyphen NS seems good now try the kubectl apply command again okay so now it seems to be fine so this is just for testing before we get into Argo CD we are good to delete the namespace now so kubectl delete NS space Apache hyphen NS alright the namespace is now deleted we have done certain git changes on our local system so it's time to commit and push it so git status will tell us that there was a change in the roller directory so we can add this overall directory or we can say git add hyphen hyphen all and then we can commit and then we can commit we need to give it some message so git commit hyphen m so I'm going to say first commit I'm going to push this to the repo so git push hyphen u origin space main enter okay so all the changes are pushed let's try to launch August CD now I've already installed August CD on the Kubernetes cluster here so let me see the IP of it so kubectl get service August CD hyphen server hyphen n August CD so this has a cluster IP and it is on port 80 right so we can use kubectl put forward the service slash August CD hyphen server hyphen n the namespace August CD and on the port 8080 colon 80 or we can use 443 yeah 8080 colon 443 and hit enter now go to the browser and access August CD on the browser with localhost colon 8080 so I'm going to key in the admin username and password and sign in now let's go ahead and add the application click on plus sign here so name the application as Apache the project name is going to be default the sync policy is automatic now go down and click on auto create namespace here and for the source repository URL we are going to put git and we just need to copy the git URL go to github copy this URL copy link go back to August CD paste this and finally put dot GIT you can keep the revision as is and the path you need to put rollout because that's the directory that we have used go down select the cluster URL as kubernetes dot default at SVC because that's the only cluster that I have here the namespace is going to be Apache hyphen NS let's go ahead and click on create we need to do one important step we need to go to the Argo CD rollouts page and we need to copy two commands to install to rollout controllers so there are two commands here we just need to copy this go back to the terminal I've opened a new shell here I'm just going to paste it so a new namespace Argo rollouts was created and there are a few Kubernetes objects that got created under this namespace the application is now healthy and it is synced now let's quickly go back to the terminal and I'm going to see the pods inside the namespace Apache hyphen NS 
so there are 10 parts and there should be a rollout object that is what we created so RO hyphen Apache NS and there should be a service object as well so we have created the rollout object and the service object the rollout object in turn has created a replica set so let's look at this get RS hyphen Apache hyphen NS so kubectl get RS hyphen N Apache hyphen NS so this is going to give the replica set for us so whose name is like this and if you see this name is here on the pods as a prefix so which means the rollout object has created the replica set which in turn has created all the pods here the 10 pods just like we gave in the manifest as replicas 10 all right we have to now install the auger rollouts plugin let's go back to the browser and search for install auger rollouts plugin click on this link kubectl plugin hyphen auger rollouts click on the installation guide here you scroll down and you'd be finding all of these commands here I'll have to just use a brew command just copying this go back to the terminal and paste it I've already installed it so this is not going to installing anything new here so just hit enter so this is already there if at all I need this again I'll have to just reinstall it okay we are now going to make use of the augo rollouts plugin with kubectl so kubectl augo rollouts and then list rollouts so no resources found we'll have to use the hyphen n namespace flag apache hyphen ns so there is one rollout here and the strategy is canary we can also use the get command instead of list to see the current status so get rollouts hyphen n apache hyphen ns i need to put the role of name as well so which is going to be apache hyphen ro so this tells that there's only one revision which is revision number one and all of the parts are running and the status is healthy the strategy is canary and there's only one image which is the current stable image which is 2.4.55 all right now let's go ahead and make a change and try to upgrade the image to 2.4.56 i've cleared the screen let me just get into the canary example directory and i'm going to make a change to the rollout manifest so nano rollout slash auto dot yaml and here I'm going to upgrade the image from 2.45 2.4.55 to 2.4.56 control x y so let push these changes so git add all git commit the message is going to be upgrade image to 2.4.56 and after that I'm going to say git push right the changes are now pushed this change should get automatically synced in August CD so now let's go ahead and check and see if there is a new replica set in the namespace Apache hyphen NS so there is a replica set which was created 49 seconds back and it has got only one this is because we have specified set weight as 10 which is 10 percent of 10 which is one replica and the rest of it is going to be 9 which is still with the old image we could use the auger rollouts plugin to check the status so kubectl auger rollouts get rollout the name of the rollout which is apache hyphen ro the namespace which is apache hyphen ns and if you see the status is now passed because we have used indefinite pass we have not set the duration inside pass we could also set something like 10 seconds 10 minutes or 10 hours even and the image the stable image is the existing image which is 2.4.55 which is existing on the nine ports in the old replica set and the new image the canary image is 2.4.56 which is only on the new port which is under the new replica set so there are two different replica sets under the same rollout object okay so since there is an indefinite pass we can now just go ahead and promote it before promoting we can do certain tests we can do certain basic tests so one such easy test would be to access the pod directly so kubectl get pod hyphen n apache hyphen ns hyphen o wide so this is going to give the name of the new pod which is at the very bottom this one so all of the other pods are having a different prefix and this is having a different prefix right so we can expose this pod directly so kubectl put forward pod slash the name of the pod 
hyphen n apache hyphen ns we can use a port like 8081 because 8080 is already used by Argo CD so 8081 colon 80 we can now go to the browser and check localhost colon 8081 on HTTP not HTTPS okay so go to the browser so HTTP localhost 8081 enter so there is some cache here it is not showing the correct one let me just try to use a different port control C so 80 90 enter so let's go back to the browser and hit 80 90 so this has to be HTTP enter so it says it works which is the home page of Apache so we know that it is working this is just a basic test but in reality you would be doing certain functional tests to make sure that the application is working perfectly so this is just a basic test which we try to do here so control C now we know that the new image is working we can now just go ahead and manually promote it with the Argo plugin so kubectl Argo rollouts promote the rollout name which is apache hyphen ro the namespace which is apache hyphen ns enter so this is promoted and if you go back and check the rollout status with kube cuttle argo rollouts get rollout apache hyphen ro and hyphen apache ns there is a typo so apache hyphen ns enter now this is the latest image the stable image is 2.4.56 so there are two revisions so revision 2 has got all the 10 pods and revision 1 is scaled down so there is no pod in the old revision 1 because we have already promoted it to the new revision so that's how the canary strategy works with the rollout object offered by Argo CD to get more information you can visit the Argo CD website the rollouts page here so augurproj.github.io slash augurrollouts and we can also click on the quick start here which gives us an example so just scroll down and go on to the example application the augur rollouts demo application and if you click on the canary click on the rollout so if you see here they have used the set by 20 which means that 20 percent of the overall replicas and then they have an indefinite pass we have to manually promote it after which they had made it as 40 which is 40 percent of 5 and after that so 40 percent of 5 which is going to be two parts and then they have set the duration as 10 seconds so which means that the it is automatic we don't have to manually promote it it will pass for 10 seconds and then it will automatically go to the next stage which is 60 percentage of 5 which is going to be three parts duration 10 seconds it's going to wait for 10 seconds and automatically go to the next stage so 80 percent 80 percent of 5 is going to be like 4 and finally after 10 seconds it would become 100 percent so you don't have to say set weight 100 at the very end right so what happens is it's gradually increasing the replicas first it is like one pod and one and four so one in canary and four in the actual stable deployment and then it becomes two plus three two in canary and then it becomes three plus two and after that it becomes four plus one and finally five so five becomes stable and then the old replica set will be scaled down so you can f you can also try this example so what we have tried is just the indefinite pass to show how it works but you can also try the rest of the options given in this document so that's it for this video thank you for watching